por qué estamos aquí y, y de, qué, de dónde, cuál es el recorrido que hemos hecho hasta aquí, por qué estamos aquí y hacia dónde nos gustaría ir. I'm pretty, I mean, in the long run, I'm optimistic about it, uh, even though right now it's, uh, it seems like the problem is so big that we could never handle it. And it's time that people realize hey, we can't not live on this planet without a healthy ocean. I think it's a multi-dimensional problem which must be solved with the help of uh, scientists from different disciplines. De un impacto en el medio ambiente y en nuestra propia salud que realmente bueno que hay tenemos que hacer algo tenemos que hacer algo ya. This is not about politics, it's about policy making. It's about crafting together a better future, taking into account the fact that some of our actions have consequences, such as plastic consumption. has been recognized as one of the main problems that uh, our ocean faces today. In Lanzarote, uh, there is a group of experts dealing with uh, the specific component of marine litter, which is microplastics. Plastics are the smallest component of uh, plastics in the, in the marine litter. They are less than five millimeters in, in size, and they have uh, different shapes and colors. And uh, now we are just looking at the tip of the iceberg. There are right now 669 biosphere reserves in 120 countries, all dealing with conservation of natural resources and sustainable development. So the topic of this conference is quite important. Microplastics are everywhere in the ocean, from the coastal places till the deepest basins, and also from uh, nearby our, our house, or our homes, and uh, they reach the Arctic and the Antarctic uh, the ocean. Considered an emerging problem, uh, there are worldwide, of course, uh, reports of microplastics being now found in almost all bodies of water, including fresh water and uh, lagoons. We have found that there are many sources for microplastics in the area of the city of Kuopio and Lake Kalavesi. These sources are, for example, stormwaters, wastewater, traffic, littering, and uh, pollution coming through air, which is actually dust from the city. Western Australia we found that the majority of the plastic was coming out of the estuary after rainfall and it was mainly fishing line. We are sampling at three islands in the Canary Current, La Graciosa, Lanzarote and Gran Canaria. We found high microplastic pollution in all locations. When you wash your clothes you release thousands of fibers after a wash which can all end up in wastewater treatment plants as well as many cosmetic products contain plastic which can be washed down also. Lots of companies put microplastics in cosmetics as they're inexpensive and also do exfoliating effects. 
So we really wanted to characterise and quantify how many microbeads could go into these spacious scrubs. We found that nearly 3 million uh, microbeads could be in one product alone, and it's a completely avoidable source of microplastic contamination in the environment. So there's definitely a problem, and we also know that there are uh, ecological impacts because uh, these microplastics are ingested by uh, organisms and uh, because of the chemicals that are sorbed into the plastics there are ecological consequences of such ingestion. My focus is on uh, effects of microplastic on the digestive enzymes on this little crustacean which is like two millimeters uh, big, Idotea merginata, and my preliminary exper experiments are showing that um, microplastic is having an effect on digestive enzyme activities. So what we did was we extracted microparticles from face wash and exposed them to the hydrate to see how it affects their feeding. What we found is if the concentration is high enough that the, it can reduce the feeding hydra or freshwater jellyfish that inhabit slow moving uh, water bodies like lakes where they regulate the planktonic structure of these uh, aquatic habitats. If microplastics are affecting the feeding or reducing the feeding rate, it can alter the community structure which can have profound effects for the aquatic environment. We know that there are microplastics in the marine environment and we know that marine animals eat it actually and now the next step is to understand what happens to human health. In order to do that, we need to perform a risk assessment. But to perform a risk assessment, we need data. And there is a tremendous data gap nowadays. I'm uh, trying to figure out how much is microplastic in fishes. The field of research is undeveloped. I'm right now trying to figure out just the method of how to get that plastic out, that we can analyze it, count it, and so on. We found microplastic contamination in the stomach content of Sponber coleus, a plantivorous fish in the Canary currents. We would like to study the transfer of the microplastics to the food web. How much is actually we humans are affected by our own uh, trash, our, our own litter, and it, it depends then on us. Do we, do we want to live in a world where we are poisoning ourselves, or we don't want? We also know that a lot of the plastics end up in the marine sediment, deep in the marine sediment. And of course these sediments also have their own uh, ecosystems and we do not know uh, how those ecosystems might be affected by uh, increasing loads of plastics that are placed in them. My sort of research is looking at interactions between a barnacle and microplastics. So what we think is happening is uh, the barnacles are pre-binding, so they're sort of gluing these particles together, these plastic particles, with some sort of mucus, um, and then this mucus is making the, the microplastics more dense, and they're sinking, they're sort of aggregated together, and then they're moving from the surface waters all the way down to, to deep waters. We have been investigating the presence of microplastics in the deep ocean at depths in excess of 1,000 meters, and we have found that there is an enormous amount of them in that uh, remote places, in that very deep areas. Um, uh, one of the questions about microplastics is uh, that not all that enter the ocean are, uh, have been found. So where is the missing microplastics? And then the idea is that uh, the deep uh, sea could be a major thing for microplastics. I conducted a laboratory experiment and that shows that the invertebrates can really transport microplastics deeper in the sediment. So what we've learned this week is that there's a lot of evidence about plastics in our ocean. Wherever we go, we find plastic. But wouldn't it be great if we can model it, if we can actually expand all the observations we have to the entire world and in some ways put all the observations into a giant model. So what I do is I try and create a virtual simulation of all the plastic every, everywhere in our ocean. I want to understand how plastic goes from one beach to the, to the deep ocean all the way on the other side of the globe. And I want to understand where it impacts marine life. 
where we should put our effort into cleaning up the ocean and to, into protecting the animals that live in it. trabajos tan, de tan alto nivel y se desplacen hasta, hasta esta isla de Lanzarote, reserva de la biosfera, para compartir el... Y gente con muchas ganas intentando solucionar esta problemática que es claramente consecuencia de, de una actividad humana. I'm very happy to be here because that's the first time that uh, we, we as a plastic pollution community are together and uh, knowing each other and networking. The Micro 2016 was a great opportunity for me to come and hear more and learn more and get to know more people that work in this area um, and bring the knowledge to the ships. Tener a la mayor parte de la comunidad científica reunida y poder empezar a pensar cómo hacer, cómo conectar cada disciplina. Of course, the one question is uh, if there is any solution to minimize the presence and the impact of uh, marine litter and microplastics in particular in the marine ecosystem. We are doing here also beach cleanups, but we want to raise awareness because with cleaning you won't solve the problem. That's why we do art with the trash that we found at the beach that's full of microplastic, so to translate scientific knowledge into real action. Uh, we are all uh, plastic users, we are in the era of plastics and uh, in my opinion the option is not just uh, cleaning up the ocean which is a huge task and it's almost impossible to do. The most efficient way is changing our habits and then reduce progressively the use of plastics in our lives. I think we have to, to make a huge effort into bringing all these people who are not here today with us. The, the, the thing is that we make the bridge between the whole science part and the people out there because the people out there living here on the planet Earth they can make the difference. What can we do about it? Very very simply is to be aware that every bit of plastic that you use every day that we all use every day ends up in the environment, ends up in the stomach of a fish, ends up being filtered by a mussel and might end up in you. So yes, this is the end of the Microplastic 2016 conference and this was fascinating because what we see is a convergence between science and, and society. Thank you very much to you all. Thank you. See you in 2018. Vamos a pasar del conocimiento que hemos visto a la acción.